Hello? What's this? You're not tuning into the Dragon Like Apollo podcast? How? I won't. I won't. Anyway, uh, welcome to the video. This is a video covering patch 1.2.6b. It's a larger patch than 1.2.6. The name, it's weird. Uh, I didn't want to do 1.2.7 because I'd like to save that for an update. Okay, cool. So, moving on. To get into this, I'm going to be reading the change log. If you guys, if you want to skip around, skip around. There's chapters on the video. This is probably going to be a slightly long video because I'm going to be reading quite a bit. So, to get right into it. Multi-threading implementation, okay? This is, uh, multi-threading is just a CPU being able to do multiple tasks at the same time. Like, being able to load character data while someone's doing challengers. I know it seems like this should be how it already worked. No. The Minecraft server, uh, most of the plugins, mods, and everything all run on one thread. Uh, I might be oversimplifying and I might be wrong about some details. Feel free to correct me if you know otherwise, but... As far as I'm aware, if one thing takes this long to load, the other thing will start from this point. It cannot start while this is happening. So if it's if it's right here, halfway, nope, you gotta wait till it's here. Um, I hope that explanation kind of makes sense. Being able to do multiple things at once. So what I did, all of character data loading, auto saving, and switching, all of it will be multi-threaded. All of this is per player. Each player has their own thread per system. Um, as well as things like your form multiplier, your form drain, cow can, fusion, all of these things that are handled are now on their own thread, meaning they will not interrupt plugins, mods, anything else. Uh, a notable thing that isn't multi-threaded is commands. If I deem them necessary to be multi-threaded, I will multi-thread them, but for the time being, I'm just doing a lot of things that are happening all the time in big systems, uh, such as questing, Challengers and special training. That's about it for multi-threading. Uh, it should have a drastic improvement on performance, but we'll see how that turns out. If there's any bugs with that, I'll of course get to fixing them as soon as possible once this patch is out, which is now because I'm releasing this the same day the patch is coming out. Cool. Um, next, minimization optimization. This is a simple uh, system that when you have your mod pack closed, or minimized, I should say. When you minimize the actual window, it will use less FPS, or it, it will use less of your system resources. Um, that being said, it also limits your FPS to 10. That's why I said FPS. It limits your FPS to 10 when the window is minimized, so when you can't see it. It also disables auras, particles, and character rendering, all of that. So when, you're, when you have it minimized, you won't see any of that, but when you click off the window onto another window it will just limit your fps to 30 and that's it. it doesn't do any of the rendering stuff so that means you'll see a lot less system usage i'll put that on the screen now cool why don't i go that way i have my obs over here cool <laughs> changes to parties uh parties give more tp instead of getting one one times the tp per party member they give 1.5 so in a four man you get six times so i'll put all that on the screen i don't feel like explaining it all um another cool change that will help parties when a party member does not meet the damage requirement sorry if that was a bit loud the reward will now only go down half the reward boost per member meaning 0 0.75 so if you're in a four-man party with only one user dealing that the required damage you would get 3.75 times the rewards for dealing 100 percent of the damage but you're also fighting a stronger enemy with four people Four people in mind. Great. That's about it for few uh, parties. There is some other minor changes to them. Um, changes to fusion now. This is a cool one. Fusion with all forms is now stronger than before. We just went through and gave every race and form a look over in fusion to make sure they're at a good strength. Adjusted the multipliers on fusion as you see on screen. Great. Raise the success XP from 40 to 50. Small change. Adjusted XP requirements. We just felt like these XP requirements make a little bit more sense with how fusion scales now, considering it's a little bit stronger than it was before the patch. We have also added passive XP to fusion, meaning on every 60 second mark, you will get this amount of XP depending on what form you're in. 
It is fusion technique XP, excuse me, not form XP. Keep that in mind. Um, other than that, there's some other small changes to fusion, some notable ones being uh, some menu changes, but mostly the fact that Arcosians are no longer really weird in fusion. I don't know what it was about them, but man, were they weird. Okay, moving on. Changes to primal forms, less strain in the primal passive on screen now. Cool. Um, changes to Kao Ken. A God Kao Ken drain was reduced by 20% right off the bat. As well as making the right whenever you go into it, the burst drain of Kao Ken when it's super high for a few seconds. Um, it was displaying weird, so I fixed that error, and I also pretty drastically lowered the amount of drain it gives the player. The health drain, of course, so that's cool. You'll, you'll see Kao Ken with less drain, as well as the drain increase over time was reduced, so you can hold Kao Ken for longer. Cool. Moving on to general changes, we updated the custom NPC Plus mod. Shout out to that developer for constantly maintaining 1.7.10 version. Amazing of you. Um, there's not super notable changes for our server. Um, there was some bug fixes, like uh, the dialogue cutoff issue that a few users were having was fixed. Great. Um... I forgot. I forgot one thing. Every class, race, everything got three more points into body uh which means which means you all have a bit more health cool bye i forgot to record this yesterday now i'm gonna start rapid firing changes of course make sure you read the change log yourself uh if you're interested in any of this go ahead and read that yourself and you know whatever uh so you can't drop items in spawn this is just to prevent that issue where you randomly drop items out of a npc trading inventory Nice, and with that in mind, I added a trash command, which will open a GUI you can just throw items away in, which is to counter the whole not being able to drop items in spawn anymore. It also keeps spawn a bit cleaner, whatever. Uh, a cosmetic toggle command, what is that, you might ask? Well, first off, first and foremost, I coded it mostly for cosmetics in the future so that we can add and players can toggle. We can give them to you and you can toggle it on and off, but some things it actually has using right now is you could toggle aura visuals god key visuals you know the glow um particles fusion outfit so you could just disable that primal clothing if you want to have a shirt and primal now you can season pass visuals and majin shirt and those are obviously two donor things the last ones but yeah so you'll be able to toggle all of these off and if you toggle your aura off a player won't see your aura um, there will probably be some adjustments for this in the case of when we do some PvP changes for the sake of fairness, but that's a different conversation. Moving on, um, action log messages now print, uh, in a typewriter fashion. This is totally irrelevant, but it looks cool. It's on screen now. Nice, right? Anyway, um, enemy key at or energy attacks will no longer count as left clicks on the quest giver. This is in case you're fighting around the quest giver, you won't accidentally end your quest with a key attack great Tra chat reactions have been recoded so the chat reaction plugin was causing an unreasonable amount of lag every time it would start it would just lag for a few seconds the whole server if that sucked i recoded it just because i figured simple enough plugin i got it done in like a day uh we buffed the reward a little bit whatever we added two new words didn't really care to add many more than that there was already, there's already like 50 um uh quality of life change if someone sends the message that was the last ward after it's already been won it will block that message so chat won't be as flooded just you know minor change of course you can also get a chain reward now so if you win the chat reaction twice you get double the reward it's not it only doubles once you go from 500 zenny to 1000 zenny that's that nice now moving on uh, well, sorry, also chat reaction will probably just be more responsive now. I'm sure many have realized you'll say your word before someone else, but for whatever reason, you'll see the winner come after you sent your message. Hopefully that's fixed with this. Should be. Item display has now been recoded and implemented into our mods. 
same as the last one you can also do slash apollo item if you want to show your item now there's not there's just some visual changes to the item display now nothing major gift box has been recoded and implemented into our mods this change was made for the same reason as the chat reaction one the gift box plugin was just laggy due to it using a um file data structure it's just an uh inefficient data structure for how much data we have meaning that gift box would lag the server when it, someone when someone when someone would open their uh, gift box so gift box works the same well actually it doesn't work the same it's not a gui anymore you just do slash gift box it will show you all the commands there uh gift box claim to claim a gift box list will list it and yeah nice there's also some cool stuff for event gift boxes for future events just wanted to open the door for that um a cool change super Majin tier 3 now has its own face that'll be on screen um that that is their tier 3 form the Majin race can also now change their antennas with the scissors call it molding clay i guess punching machine is now a confirmation so every time you hit it'll be it'll like boop boop like you can keep hitting it 50 times until you get your perfect damage the thing is with that in mind you also just right click to confirm your damage super simple nice hopefully that'll make it easier for people who have accidentally hit the wrong damage great and along with that uh combos don't count that's whatever it will also show whenever you hit them it'll show punching machine whatever eh, quality of life stuff you know it's probably what you expect if you've been here for a while um moving on server restart notification sent in the action log small change adjusted the visual for the glow effect you know god key um repositioned it to fit better on certain parts of the model every prime one ascend a god form for every race now has multicolored god uh glow whatever glow effect i don't know we don't have a real name for it it's just the glow effect on god key so they were have three different colors typically all around like yellow orange red type you know so they fit together so that's nice visual change i disabled all npc death and world dialogues just so you stop getting random random messages like this planet is doomed from every npc gear coins now say where they're obtained in their descriptions this is a nice change added a zenny trade bot to the canton mall and the canton bank added a new achievement location hidden room number three where could that possibly be i also added a command called slash apollo member ranks to view the on time requirement for member ranks now let's get into bug fixes there's a couple npcs that shouldn't uh have health bars would no longer render for a second that's totally small fix the client side crash with the challenger selection screen that's a great fix i've been sending people a early build of it just so they can get it fixed fix the issue that would cause auras to stay stuck horizontal no more drill auras fix an issue where you could break down other users armor pieces at the blacksmith oh no fix an issue with the scissors where they'd say your race has no hair Fix an issue causing TP boosters show a 0% display timer, blah, blah, that TP boosters would break. Fixed it. Uh, key attacks no longer require stamina. That was an error. My bad, key builds. Evil Majin no longer says it has an alternate form. I swear I fixed that last patch, but whatever. Uh, I fixed two issues with special training, that being Whis and Primal training, for the sake of, well, <laughs> it, was fi it was a fix. Anyway, um fix an issue where our cogenes would have to spam the descent key if it's not fixed do let me know and i'll work on fixing it further um we couldn't really recreate this on the test server so we just went to the most logical cause of what would be causing it and we hopefully fixed it fix an issue where some of the achievements would show wrong notably location achievement locations challengers etc they would all just have weird counts so that's nice uh, fixed a bug preventing challengers from being able to despawn. They would just kind of respawn after you'd left click trunks to despawn them. It was a weird one. I fixed an issue where the, uh, your attack combo would be set to one while you're in the middle of fighting, which would just result in you actually just doing less damage. Great. Uh, Saiyan tail toggle no longer says N slash A when you first start your client. Yeah. And fixed the chest and horse textures. I know. It's a big one for all you wild players. We fixed those textures. They don't look weird anymore. Uh, that is about it for the patch. This was a quite long video. I'm 
sorry. I hope uh, it was entertaining enough. I hope I could entertain you enough with this patch video. Um, yeah, you know, we uh, released the roadmap. If you guys haven't seen that, please check it out. It's our next four updates being um, Movie Pack 3, Combat Update, Cooking Update, and the 1.3 update. When those will come out, could not tell you. We have absolutely no idea. Um, Movie Pack 3 will be beginning development right after this patch is released. So happy to start on that update for you guys. And I can't wait to get that to you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this patch. And uh, you guys are enjoying the server. We've been seeing very good player counts. Thank you all for um, playing the server so much. Thank you all for inviting your friends. Whatever you're doing to help us, whether it's a donation, playing, anything, it's so appreciated by me and the team. Um, I don't want to get all sob story, but it's amazing to be here. Yeah, thank you all for your time, however you support us, whether it's financially or just your playtime. You know, your playtime is super valuable. Having you on this server for hours a day, week, hours a week, whatever, however long you can play, we're glad to have you guys. We're going to make this server better for you guys and make it amazing, okay? Thank you guys all for your patience. Thank you guys all for waiting for all these fixes and changes. I appreciate you guys. Have a good day. I will see you guys at the podcast, which is... I don't know when. When's this video uploading? Tell me in the comments. If you made it to the end of the video, please leave a comment, subscribe, and like, you know, you, normal YouTube stuff. Please, it helps us out greatly. We're trying to uh, grow on the YouTube platform and bring in more players from our own content. That would be amazing. Thank you all. Goodbye. Did you subscribe?